All right, guys, we're about to give the little excavator a bit of love. Um, I'm going to touch up some panels and bits and pieces. There's a few bits that are pretty sad at the moment. This from wear and tear and stuff rubbing on it. Like it does. That's where the ramps rub. I need to do something to mount the ramps better. But uh, yeah, she's in here getting a bit of work done on her. I'm going to take the blade off and all those kinds of things. So, um, The bolts are 15 mil. There's one there and there's one there. As you can see, this is really hanging down. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to stick the jack under it, bend it up and get it in a better position. As you can see, the fuel tank, that's what that guards. And so we've got a few different options. We've got some square hollow section here. We'll start there. Let's lift it back up to where it's meant to be. Up there somewhere. We'll see if it stays there. I'm coming down a little bit. That's better though. The gap's more consistent. Let's just leave it pumped up there for a few minutes. Not sure if it's meant to be around the rollover structure or not. Anyway, I'm gonna give that a bit of a panel beat. Had a couple of little hammers there, so get some of them dings out on that panel. We're just gonna give it a hit with that blue. I've got the proper blue and orange for this machine, so yeah, we'll give it a hit and give it a clean up. So if we can't make it look a bit more tidy, as uh, it's like a faded. Friggin' pink colour at the moment. Pretty bad actually. You don't realise it till you stop using stuff like this and start looking at it. So, we're gonna get some masking tape. And uh, start getting some bits ready to paint. And right then, I left that for a bit just to. glass falling out. Okay, there's the bolt. Let's get on the track there. Let's get the back one. Hmm, must be only 14 mil. metric because I'm pretty sure they're made in Japan. It's the top ones. Must be a cup underneath. Yeah, one underneath down there. Grab a 14 mil ring spanner and we'll grab him as well. Off. This is going to be messy.
Yeah, I think it's sitting on the fuel tank. Yeah. And it is dirty in there. Bang some of them dents out after we give it a clean. Wow, that's dirty. That's never been cleaned in there. That's amazing. That's a pressure cleaner job with this outside. So we want to clean up all of that in there. We don't want that in there anymore. There's a horn and our reverse beeper. Reverse beeper doesn't work because I disconnected it. Or movement beeper. I hate them. Bottom of our fuel tank. There's our fuel probably return line. So I reckon the majority of that rubbish in there is all from the greasing of that back of that ram. So uh, we'll pull some more stuff off and then we'll uh, take her outside. Let's get this other front panel off. Interesting to see what it's like in there. Down. There's one underneath there. There's one underneath here. Just grab the ratchet. Drop stuff in the process. This one needs a little bit less panel weight than the other one. Nearly there. Okay, about there. There's one back here. This is the first time I've ever undone these. Oh, that's tight. We won't go back in again. Oh, that's really bonding up. Glad I didn't do that with the impact near. I might have threaded that one with the impact. Got him. Okay, let's hope that's them. And there she is. Look at the amount of dirt in there. Right, let's go and get her over the pit. Clean that rubbish up. I, need to, I really need to clean this thing better. Now, let's go get the pressure cleaner happening. The wind noise is going to be pretty shocking, but there's the. Uh, 
clean side of things you can see, right? Look at this. So you definitely don't want to be over greasing them, as you can see. It definitely probably causes more issues than it fixes. And uh, I imagine if I was on the side of the hose in there, my, uh, my day would be very, 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 very sad. wash like actual pressure first and then we'll hit the grease and then wash it again. Goo everywhere. You can see the actual I knew what was in here, kind of, but I didn't, yeah, haven't actually had a good look. Right, I'll go ahead and clean and I'll come back when she's clean. Check out the mess in there, that's the valve body. That's what the sticks control. this ram so we're going to take the whole blade off because the blades gonna just hang down um, without a ram there obviously that's what supports it you see some of the damage from where some big rocks got dropped on it Let's see if we can get this one undone It's got a collar on it, so we're going to remember that goes back together that way. One there, one there. Like that. 
one under there. They're coming undone nicely. It's one to go though, so let's not get too excited. And one over here. screwdriver or something to pry them off their base and see if they start moving. Okay, we hope this is enough. Oh, the pin's moving. Bottom pin. Oh, falls out. Look at that. Top pin. Guess that's what happens when you grease things. the part where you keep your human pieces away. Yeah. Blade removed. Just like that. I'm just gonna undo these hose fittings and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, well, just looking a bit bare in the front now. So we've removed the blade, the ram. That's actually surprisingly heavy. Um, I thought it'd be okay, but yeah, I don't think I could pick it up and put it on the ute, to be honest with you. It's pretty, pretty solid. What I've done, it's a hydraulic line there. Just looped it for the time being. I think it's still start up, move it around. I might even be able to still take it out on jobs. We'll see what that's like for positioning um, where it is once the cover's back on. I think the cover shouldn't be much further down. I think it actually stops. Oh, hang on, there's a, there's a bolt hole back there. So that cover won't be able to go back on while that's there. I may have to get a, uh, another stop cap. I've got a one stop cap, but I, um, Somehow, some way, lost the other one. But anyway, long story short, that's all removed. I've had a pretty solid effort at cleaning up in there. Just a little bit of crap in there, but it's so much better than what it was. I'll give it another go before it all goes back together. Funnily enough, the uh, controls move a lot better now. What are the chances? No. I'll just start it up and see if it leaks. Fan belt needs tightening slash checking. Which is in there. Can see a fan. Yeah, it's down in there. So that needs adjustment. 
No, no, it's got tons of adjustment on it. So that must be how you do it. Yeah, I reckon we remove this header bottle and take that bracket out, we can get straight to it. But for today, that's it. I'm going to drop the ram off for the buddies. Um, his mate's got a workshop, he reckons he should be able to straighten it and redo the ram. I'll give that a clean up before I take it to him. Nothing worse than when people bring you dirty, horrible stuff to work on. I need a new seat at some stage. I've got some cloth tape. I might tidy that up so that it doesn't get too much worse too quickly. It's still comfortable. It's just um, started coming apart. And then, yeah, I'm going to panel beat some panels, tidy them up, put them back together. The next trick is I've got to measure pins and all the bushes for all of this stuff. And yeah, put it all back together and make it look tidy again. So yeah, that's, that's what I've got up to today so far. I'm going to talk to my mate and see if she can get me a heap of brake clean or um, degreaser at a good price. And um, yeah, so here's the first part of a multi-part fixing, tidying, repairing said excavator. Oh, we're going to replace those lights as well. With the 24 inch LED bar. You can get to a grease nipples properly again. You just have to put a screwdriver in there and lift it up to get to the edge one. But, uh, that panel there I can panel beat first, paint and put back on. That's the first one that can go back together. And um, yeah, we might just have to find a hydraulic hose a bit longer to uh, do the bypass or put the cap on. I've got, the ca I've got one of the caps. You see, you know what I mean. They're a swiveling end cap. So it just gets done up on the end of the hydraulic line. And um, yeah, it's pretty simple really. Oh, I'm going to pack it up, go and have some dinner. Finish fixing that uh, another day. I'll take that one with me, put that in my pocket. Thanks for watching guys, this is the part one of Tidy Fix and Repair the Poor U17 Kubota, we'll uh, have more for you soon, cheers.